Okay, so another three-hour episode of Raw is done. Now, the opening, you had a really good match between the primetime players and Team Hell No. That could have been interrupted because they would constantly want to show a camera angle from above the shoulder member of the shield. You know, decent match, decent match, nice back and forth. You know, Daniel Bryan gets a nice roll up, one, two, three, then the shield hits the ring and they annihilate both Kane and Daniel Bryan. Crowd chain for Ryback, nothing. Okay. <clears throat> really solid match between Sin Cara and Alberto Del Rio. I've come to the conclusion. Del Rio has decent matches with two types of people. People in masks, people with tattoos. If you do not wear a mask nor have tattoos, matches with Del Rio are going to suck. With Del Rio getting the, the, the fall on Sin Cara. Decent match, could have been a little bit crisper, but... Overall, probably one of the best singles matches that Cara's had since he debuted. <clears throat> Punk came out and he derided the, the the new and expanded definitive W Encyclopedia. I have the one from like two years ago be, behind me, so it's entirely invalidated yet again. <clears throat> and they mentioned how there's no mention of CM Punk's title reign, which by Wednesday he will be at 381, which will put him beyond John Cena, and will make him the longest title reign in the past 25 years. Virtually cementing his legacy as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Period. And then who comes out to... to make this segment different? The Miz. Now, The Miz, good out of the stick. You know, I, I can't take that away from him. He's not quite up to Punk's level, then challenges him to, are you ready for this? Ready for this? A lie detector test. So the main event of Raw is a lie detector test. <clears throat> Sheamus and John Cena took on the tag team of Big Show and Dolph Ziggler. And like you could pretty much expect, Super, she Super Cena and Super Sheamus easily defeated the team of Ziggler and Show. With Sheamus holding Big Show and White Noise, waiting for John Cena to pick up Dolph Ziggler for the attitude adjustment. In his mind, I just picture him being like, I got this fella. I got my 500 pound guy on my back. You pick up your 200 pound guy. Whatever you're ready, fella. What? I can hold it all day long. I'm like the strongest guy on, in this company right now. Which then, of course, led to Dolph Ziggler pleading Vicky for that one extra match against John Cena. And this is, of course, when later on Vince McMahon comes back just to kind of drag Vicky into better matches. So at TLC, in a ladders match, you ready for this? In a ladders match, Ziggler, Cena, with the Money in the Bank briefcase on the line. Kind of like when Ziggler took on Jericho, when it was Money in the Bank briefcase versus career. So it should be an absolutely fantastic match. Theodore Long came out and made a tag match, and then changed that tag match into a fatal four-way. So you had Kofi and R-Truth, and Antonio Wade Barrett. But to spice it up, they decided to throw in a Raw Active, whose belt should be on the line. And it being Cesaro's belt. This match was probably the best match of the night. You know, you had a bunch of really solid workers. And the ending, of course, was what you'd expect. It was a finisher fest. So you saw, you know, the, the, the ball elbow, trouble in paradise. And then you watch Antonio Cesaro just straight muscle Kofi from a pinning position into the neutralizer, hits it for the one, two, three. Ridiculously impressive. You know, a super undeniably solid match. AJ took on Tamina. And Tamina just beat her from pillar to post. Roll up out of no one, two, three, AJ wins. Okay. You know, not, not bad. It did remind me of a lot of the, the Beth Phoenix Kelly Kelly matches where 
best fiends was just down at the whole time, then also out of nowhere, roll up, one, two, three. But AJ's more likable than Kelly Kelly currently, so, so it's okay. <clears throat> Brad Maddox, who is struggling to make himself still be relevant, had a match with Randy Orton. And I'll be honest, I really want to see Brad Maddox and Dolph Ziggler the match. With how much they sell, a collar and elbow tie is going to look like a Mick Foley flying off the top of a Hell in a Cell through a table. Brad sold like every move Orton hit, and it was a squash. One, two, three, Orton wins. Then Orton gets beaten down by the shield. Okay. Damien Sandow came out and he picked a fan at random and then asked him some questions. Two pretty easy ones and one that would probably be difficult for like an English lip major. And then Santino came down and tried to get through, you know, like seashells, sea, she sells seashells by the seashore. But he really couldn't do it. Kind of like I couldn't do it. And then he tried to hit Sandow with the microphone to like those two having a match with Sandow getting the victory. So then it went from having these phenomenal matches with Sheamus to now having matches with Santino. The segment with The Miz and CM Punk. Lie detector test. Boring as all get out. You know, the Titan Tron is just showing what the, the screen is showing. They ask Punk if he can beat Ryback one on one. He goes, Yeah. Huge spike indicating that he's probably lying. Then when he asks him, So are you in league with Maddox and the Shield? Then they hit the ring. And they absolutely destroy the Miz. And then Team Hell No comes down. They're kind of getting beat on a little bit. Then Ryback comes down. And then they pretty much just demolish the shield. <clears throat> and then CM Punk's alone in the ring, thinking everyone's cleared out. No, Ryback's there. Big boot, shell shock. Ryback then brings in a ladder. Hits Punk with the ladder. Brings in a chair. Hits Punk with the chair. Sets up a table. Power bombs him through a table. Thus setting up their TLC match for TLC. So, the shield jumps three different people. Ryback shows up once. Good use of him. You know, the crowd was hot for him the first time, even hotter the second time, and super into him the third time. But, at this rate, CM Punk's going to beat Ryback in some sort of bizarre fashion. Potentially, he could defeat The Rock, and then if he survives, Elimination Chamber, maybe he'll put his streak up against Taker's streak. Who knows? <clears throat> It'd be a nice, a nice solid match for those two guys. At the same time, if CM Punk were to beat Dolph Ziggler, John Cena could defeat someone like The Big Show, and then you could set up a feud between Sheamus and John Cena, which potentially has some legs to it as well. All in all, a nice episode of Raw. I really do wish they would find a way to make the three hours flow a little bit better. We start watching it at like 8.30. And we're pretty much caught up live by the time you skip through commercials and recaps of things that just happened. <clears throat>